like a hell cut. Hello friends, today our topic is stick diagram. So let's see the flow how to solve any stick diagram sum. So the first step we have the equation in the question. Now the equation should be represented in the form something the whole bar. It is very important that we have bar. Alright. Then we have to draw the static CMOS circuit. So this is the second step. Using this circuit we can draw the stick diagram. Alright, so the first step was the equation. Now the equation should be let's say a plus b the whole bar. So the bar is important. When we talk about second drawing static CMOS, we need the logic. Uh, how to represent the multiplied and the plus term. Alright, so let's see that in the question further. The third step was to draw the stick diagram. To draw the stick diagram, we should know the color code. So let's see by an example. So our first example is y is equal to a plus b the whole bar. So you can see that the question is something the whole bar. So the first step is clear. When we talk about the second logic that is how to draw this static CMOS circuit, we should know for n MOS when the terms are added. Now what are the terms a and b? All right. When the terms are added, we will use the parallel like the n MOS will be in parallel. Similarly, when the terms are multiplied, n MOS will be in series. For p MOS, the logic is opposite for the of the n MOS. All right. So when the terms are multiplied, they are parallel. When the terms are added, they are in series. You can see the opposite. All right. So let's draw the circuit. Now this is VDD. This is ground. At the upper side, we will have p MOS logic. At lower side, we will have n MOS logic. And the output is from the between. So let's draw first the NMOS logic. Now you can see the terms are added. So when the terms are added, both will be in parallel. So let's draw parallel. This is A. This is B. Now this is output is at ground. Here it would be because from middle it is output. When we talk about PMOS logic, let's see that. PMOS logic, when the terms are added, they will be in series. So, first PMOS. PMOS means there will be a bubble at gate. Then, because plus sign means both are in series, A plus B plus means series, we are drawing in series. So, this is A, this is B, and this is out. Now the second step is clear. Let's take the discussion further. Now when we talk about PMOS, it is like gate here, upper side is source and lower side is drain. Similarly for B, gate is here, source and drain. We need source and drain from this circuit so that we can draw the stick diagram very effectively. So when we talk about NMOS, gate is here, drain is at the upper side, source is at the lower side. Similarly, drain is at the upper side, source is at the lower side. After marking all these drain and source, we can draw the stick diagram. So let's revise it again. For P MOS, source is at upper side. For N MOS, drain is at upper side. All right. Now let's draw the stick diagram. So the first line is VDD. Last line is ground. Now the two lines you have to draw. This will represent the P MOS diffusion as the upper side is the P MOS. This line will represent NMOS diffusion as the lower side is NMOS. So NMOS diffusion, P diffusion, N diffusion. Alright. Now this is polysilicon line. Now this is A, this is B. So this will represent the gate part. Alright. Now this circuit is A. Now either source can be here or drain can be here. Or let's say source can be here or drain can be here. It's on the user. How you can plot that all right so basically what we have done vdd ground p n now this is polysilicon diffusion so that we got our pmos circuit like this is represented here pmos b is represent here represented here similarly a for nmos is represented here 
and b of n mos is represented here all right now the purpose of plotting sd sd let's see that now you can see that drain of a is equal to source of b so i have my choice like i can write here source of drain or here source of drain because d and s are equal i will write here like this d and s so that drain of a is equal to source of b as as per the question all right now here would be drain here would be source now source of a is connected to vdd so a source is connected to vdd now connection is represented by a cross so that you can say that there is a connection between vdd and this line cool now output is from drain of b so drain of b is this this part make a cross this is y output all right now let's talk about nmos drain and drain of a and b are same so let's say drain drain of a and b are same so they are equal now source and source are here now let's say source both are connected to ground so make a cross ground make a cross ground and the drain is connected to the output make a cross and give a connection to the output so this is the stick diagram now let's talk about the color code when we talk about p p should be yellow when we talk about n n should be green vdd and ground are blue all right so y g b now the basic color rgb so r is remaining so this line polysilicon line is red so this line vertical lines with this small horizontal line is red this whole horizontal line is blue uh, sorry is yellow this whole horizontal line is green this whole horizontal line is blue this whole horizontal line is blue now the connections are in black like the x are in black let's take one more example the second example is a dot b the whole bar is y all right so let's draw the circuit the circuit is this is vdd this is ground now you can see when we draw n mos the terms are multiplied when the terms are multiplied in n mos they are in series so this is a this is b both are in series and here is the output y so in p mos this would be in parallel because in p mos if the terms are multiplied they should be represented in parallel so parallel means this this is a this is b okay now the second step is to plot the ds so upper is s lower is d for p mos for n mos upper is d lower is s upper is d lower is s cool now let's draw the stick diagram so the first line is vdd last line is ground this line is p mos this line is n mos so p diffusion n diffusion n mos and p mos are formed when we draw the polysilicon now this is p mos now this is p mos n mos n mos okay polysilicon and this is for let's say a because we have two terms a and b okay now when we talk about p mos you can see that the source of a and source of b are same so let's say these are source now uh, these are drain okay now the drain are connected to the output so let's say this is y output so x here x and these are connected to output now let's talk about the n mos in n mos we can see that source of a is equal to drain of b okay so source of a is equal to drain of b you can see this line and drain is connected to the output so drain of a is connected to the output all right whereas the source of b is connected to ground so this is the source of b which is connected to ground so this is the stick diagram again the colors 
this is blue this is green this is sorry this is yellow this is green this is blue this vertical lines are this is red and this x are in black thank you तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन डू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट